what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back so i reach for my headphones um right now i'm experiencing some um internet outages right i'm experiencing some internet outages guys so i don't know when you guys are going to get this episode but they said i called them they said it will be back up by tonight they're working on it they're aware of the outage in my area so that's what they're telling me so i have to believe them right <laughs> I have to believe them, right? They said it'll be back up by 9 p.m. So we'll see how that goes. Definitely, we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to keep recording. I'm going to keep reacting. Do what I need to do today. Um, I just finished doing Berserk. Was ready to upload. And I realized, I mean, during the reaction, I actually, there was outage. And it usually just goes, it goes out. For like around five to ten minutes and then it'll be back up but this time around it seems like there's an outage in the area you know and it's not just me but we'll see how things go you know we'll see anyway spartacus season three episode two so i'm jumping in right now um you guys already know how I'm feeling about these characters, man. These characters are really good so far. Um, introduced new characters, Crassus, Tiberius, the sun. And, you know, you guys are saying that Soxa is the most beautiful girl. So I'm going to kind of pay attention to Soxa a little bit more. I think it's the the um, the um one that was with... That was with um, Gannicus in the last episode, right? If I'm not correct, let me know. Of course, of course, I think it's a girl as, you know, it's like she she's like a wild dog, you know, when she fights, you know, much more aggressive, you know, from the time. I think she's from the same place as Argon, right? If I'm not mistaken, she came with those people. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll have our contest later on and i'll let you guys know who i believe to be the most beautiful woman in the series but as you guys really want to know who i like the best but we'll see i mean this season navia is looking she she hitting different you know what i'm saying she hitting different i mean the angles that she getting she got the corn rolls you know what i mean like she she hitting different yeah you know i saying but anyways let's jump into this reaction man Let's see what our boy uh, Crass Crassus have up his sleeve. You know what I'm saying? We all know that is. Um, I don't think they have, did they ever say his first name. I think they did say his first name. I know it's the House of Crassus, so all of them named Crassus. But when you hear me say Crassus, just like how I say Batiatus, we know it's the House of Batiatus. But you know who I'm talking about? The one who's leading the house, the current moment. Okay. So let's do this. Let's jump in. I'm gonna make sure that I. Uh, turned turn down the audio of the video so that it's not overpowering my reaction and the things that i'm saying so i'm gonna make sure i turn that down for you guys this time around no doubt about it okay so we're gonna jump into that i'll see you guys for the review all right so we watched three episodes episodes two three and four gathering my thoughts because i know maybe you guys are going to disagree with what i have to say even you know the woman more than most are going to disagree with what i have to say right now because it needs to be said it needs to be said it really does needs to be said you know i'm glad that spartacus got over the whole suri thing sura is it suri sura right I'm glad he got over the whole Sura thing. He got his revenge. And even before he got his revenge, he was off a different mind. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing that kept that really like differentiating themselves from the Romans is not to treat them how they treated you. You get what I'm saying? 
as I said during the episode where I was saying that um, I disagree with the whole resources part of it. The resources, like if they starve to death, they're just going to have to starve to death because at the end of the day, I need my guys when it's wartime. When it's battle time, I need my guys and I need them not starving. You get what I'm saying? So I guess for resources, you get what I mean? I'm going to feed my men before I feed prisoners of war. You get what I'm saying? It makes sense. Treating them like slaves? No. You cannot become what you're trying to fight against. That's It's dumb. It's so dumb on so many levels. I get why they want to kill all the Romans. I really do. But it makes no sense. And this is what, this, this is what you know, I'm going to go off topic here a little bit to talk about something in relation when it comes on to to um to racism right this is something i tell people all the time i say you cannot fight racism with racism it makes no sense to me i tell my colleagues this all the time it makes no sense for you to come out here and say you don't want white people to say the n-word and you turn around and call them crackers it's just as derogatory as the former So how can you have the gall to come out here and do the very thing that you don't want to be done to you? I'm extremely disappointed with Crixus right now. Extremely disappointed. You saw my face, man. Like, and and he's doing this because of her. He's simping out here. He's not even going to question anything about her motives. Yes, a lot of messed up stuff happened to Navia. We all can acknowledge that. But to follow her every word, okay, okay, you want to kill that baby? Because we hate babies now? Okay, kill the baby. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much how things are going between them. It's, it's just like, oh, you know what I'm saying? extremely disappointed with Crixus right now I didn't expect him to I, I think I thought he, he he got the point but the, I get it man I understand why they why they doubt his plans sometimes but Spartacus has a good head on his body he's not, and that's why I said that Spartacus reminds me a lot of Ned in Game of Thrones he really does he really does because what's the sake of compromising honor, man? Why? I get it. I get why they want revenge. You making me now. I thought we all became such a tight knit, but. I want to see how Argon responds to this. What is he going? How is he going to be towards this? I mean, even Gannicus was against this because, you know what I'm saying? Gannicus did not touch her. He did not touch Navia. He just called her a bitch because of what she did. You get what I'm saying? He did. He doesn't know the circumstances behind what happened because she's the only one that was there with Atius. And instead of her coming clean, she just riles up Crixus a lot more, go get stone and knock Gannicus out. That's not cool, man. And now I don't like her character. I really don't. I don't like her character. I don't care what she's been through. We've all acknowledged that. What? Do, do, be, be, if, if I was molested... In, in life, in early childhood, does that give me the right to, to, to grow up and go molest other people? Does it? No, it doesn't. I'm all for getting her getting her revenge. I'm all for it. But they have this disdain towards Romans so much that they can't even see them for human beings anymore. It's becoming ridiculous. They're still human beings. And just like how if they pose no threat, 
And I get what she was saying. What she explained in, a, in, in, I think it was episode three, where she was like, oh, those are the worst one, the sneaky kinds. I get it, man. I really do. I get her mindset. But to not come clean after you find out that he wasn't really a threat. And to say, oh, he was a Roman anyways. It's beyond me, bro. I mean, we got Crassus simping. Even though he surprised me at the end, I didn't expect him to put his son in there. I did not. That blew my freaking mind. Story-wise. The, the writing for that, I would have never guessed that they would have done that. And it's just so lucky, so lucky that he drew a black stone. So lucky. I mean, suppose he had drew a white stone. How would, would Marcus, how would he, how, how would he respond to that? Would he have just stood there? And let his son get beaten to death? <sighs> I mean, there's so many mind-blowing things that happen in these three episodes. It's just absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Writing-wise, perfection. Everything is just... Uh, it's unbelievable, the writing in the show. And I just can't understand how this is the last season of the show. I just can't understand, bro. I just can't understand amazing i still want to know what is the relationship between that slave and um and tiberius i really do and i think what she said you know what i'm saying like she i don't think she expected marcus to do that i really don't i don't think i don't think she expected marcus to throw her son in there with the rest of them to choose you know what i'm saying i i bruh That's some serious G shit he just, he did, man. Some serious G shit, bro. I mean, like, you wanted to be commander, right? That's what you wanted. You could have stayed your ass at home and chill. <laughs> but you wanted command. You wanted to be in command, right? Bruh. Shit is mind-blowing, man. Shit is mind-blowing. Um... Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I know you guys are probably going to disagree with what I have to say. I, I really don't like how they're portraying um, women in this show to be like this obstacle that men have to get over. Even though it's so true in real life, how it happens all the time in real life is not far-fetched. This is what you see all the time with certain men and women. I tell you this, after I came out of the simping life, ain't no woman, no woman out there is worth me. My life? You must be crazy. <laughs> you must be crazy. Because, trust me, man, when I tell you, and I'm not saying this is all women, but it's not a great percentage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not a great percentage in, in, in women's favor when it comes on to certain things, man. It's not a great per percentage. Women will lie to get what they want. They will lie to get what they want. And they don't give a shit about you. She wants Crixus to be the leader. And that's why she's doing this. That is why she's pushing him to a new agenda. Because she she's basically seen, oh, I'm doubting Spartacus now, so you can take charge. You can do your own thing now. Breaking up the group, splitting up the group. All she has to do is come clean and say, I was wrong. I'm sorry. But instead, she rubs salt in wood. You know what I'm saying? It's just... Uh, I am so over this, so over this, yeah, I'm saying, 
Navia Crixus really disappointed point me in la in this episode the final um episode four really disappoint me man um i'm still on the spartacus train man i'm still on the spartacus train i love what the dudes stand for you know what i'm saying even if it gets him killed it's better to die an honorable man than to die a freaking douche trust me man anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in like the video, make sure you hit that like button, comment if you will, whatever it is, I'll respond to it as always, subscribe if you're new, talk to you guys later, peace.